All right, so what we're going to be tying here is a just a standard mop fly. Uh, what I have in the vise is a TMC 200R, size 8. <clears throat> you can tie these things down to like a 12, uh, 14 maybe, if you got a like, three long or two long hook, something like that. Uh, maybe as large as a 6, but anyway, that kind of gives you an idea. So uh, I'm going to use Unithread Black. 8.0. Um, a popular option for these is to have a bead up front. Uh, you can totally do that if you want to. Uh, you can also add some lead wire kind of right in this area right there. Um, or you just kind of let it get wet and stay just below the film and pick off some bluegills or uh, you know trout and trout go after these too. So, anyway, so I'm just going to start my thread pretty much just right behind the eye and I'm going to work back it doesn't have to be pretty. Try about, I don't know, a quarter inch or so, and I'll just work forward again and back. All right, so next what we need to do is, well, you know what, maybe I'll go back a little bit more. It won't hurt. Oop. So next what we need to do is take uh, your mop material and some super glue. I've just got some crazy glue here, and we need to. If you're cutting it off of a like a mop or good grief, sorry about that. That bug really wanted to die. So if you're cutting it off of a mop or a, like this is like one of those little hand wipe things, like I was saying, you want to take this and uh, dab it with super glue pretty generously uh, to make sure that this part here, whoop, that part there, doesn't come unraveled. And then I'll also take a little super glue and just kind of dab some on right there. Now I want to move this up. Now when you when you do this, this is going to kind of flare forward a little bit. So keep it a little bit back behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to start wrapping it in, literally just kind of positioning it. I'll tie it forward a little bit. You can kind of see how it flared forward there, and you got some material coming forward. So you know just be mindful of that and we'll just kind of cross back over and capture this there you go I'm going to try to make sure that, that little mop brush kind of stays centered on top of the hook shank that's pretty good and I'm just going to kind of loosely cross wrap some of this stuff in Perfect. Good grief. Sorry, that's my uh, bug zapper. So next I'm going to use is uh, Ice Stub and Peacock. Uh, black is a very popular color. You can also add soft tackles to these if you would like. And I'm just going to take this dubbing and kind of kind of do this number, pull it apart so that I can kind of get all my Ice Stub running in the same direction. I'm just going to turn that to the side. You can wax your thread here if you want. I don't find it particularly necessary, I guess. I don't know. I guess maybe I just consider this like a throwaway fly, if you know what I mean. Like if you lose it, it's not a big deal. It takes about two minutes to tie one. I know the video is a little longer than that, but I'm trying to explain. So anyway, I'm just going to start wrapping this in. Just kind of build a, whoop, build a little head or a little front part of the body. You can make this small, you can make it big. Like I said, you can add a bead, add all of it. You can add soft tackle. I'm just going to kind of wrap this forward right behind the eye. I'm going to put in, oh, we've got probably 10, 15 wraps in there. <clears throat> I'm going to take it and whip finish. And you can pull that away. And then if you want, you can kind of take a little toothbrush or some Velcro or something and kind of rough this up. And I, when I do that, I kind of draw it to the back to make it look like legs or 
uh, shedding body or something like that. So there you go. I know this is like amazing, like the shortest demonstration video I've done. Just over five minutes. But that's it, literally how easy this is to tie. It's super effective. Um, you can catch numerous species of fish with this thing. Um, this is, like I said, kind of a throwaway job. You know, you, you tie 10 of these up, several different colors, and if you lose them, whatever, pass them out, uh, and they're effective. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Super easy fly again. And, uh, you know, make sure you join us at uh, Fly Tying for Beginners at Facebook, as well as uh, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, if you haven't. And um, we'll see you soon. Happy tying.